Most people don't think that they're living in a border town. But let me tell you, you actually are. It doesn't matter if you're in McAllen, Texas, El Paso, Texas, Portland, Oregon, Denver, Colorado, or Miami, Florida. You live in a border town. Well, I'm here to tell you today that not only do you live in a border town if you live in America, but you are in danger. This administration that we are currently living under has opened up our southwest border, which has resulted in over a million illegals pouring over, narcotics at historic record levels coming in, cartel and gang activity through the roof, and it's all coming to a town near you. As the wife of a first responder, my husband serves our local community as a firefighter and a SWAT medic. In that capacity, he has seen everybody on their worst day running into buildings that people are running out and seeing people when they are at their worst. In a lot of cases here recently, that's been in overdoses. When my husband started coming home, talking about people that he had responded to over and over and over again on a lethal cocktail of heroin and fentanyl, I started doing some digging. Did you know that the fentanyl that was confiscated just in the month of June is enough to kill every man, woman, and child in the state of Florida 11 times over? That's insane. That's just what's been seized. And they estimate that only about 20% of what comes across the border is seized. So you look at it from the narcotic standpoint, our communities are literally dying in front of us. But if you look at the pressure on our system, be it through the education system, be it through social services, our healthcare system, anything that requires us as taxpayers to fund, think of what one million people coming here unvetted, unchecked, with no support system means. It means that we are all a border town. And when you talk about defunding police and taking critical resources out of the hands of those that protect our communities on a daily basis, well, quite frankly, they can't stop what's coming across the border because you can't protect your hometown unless you defend the homeland. And that's why it's so incredibly important that if we're serious about our national security, about the humanitarian crisis that is occurring every single day, or the public health debacle that's unfolding, you need to care about securing our border.